Appreciate that. Thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, all those things that she mentioned that I do are totally unrelated to what I'm going to be talking about here today. Um, so what I'm actually here to talk to you guys about is the company that I work for. And uh, the company that I work for is called Rapid Novor. And uh, just a quick question to all of you is this is, is just the idea that uh, is medicine currently working at its peak? And I mean, you can kind of ask yourselves, uh, what is the peak of medicine? But I think that you know, I'm going to kind of uh, flush this out a little bit more throughout the speech. Um, so let's get started. A little introduction here onto who we are. So our company is the product of uh, Dr. Bin Ma. He is uh, a tenured professor at the University of Waterloo in the mathematics department, generally a very smart human. And uh, he had previously founded a different company called Bioinformatics Solutions. And so what that company did was they offered a software solution to pharmaceutical companies. Um, very brilliant software. Um, the problem was he wanted to do more with his life than just develop the software that they use to do the kind of research that they're already doing. Um, very good applications. Um, that company did really well. That company sold really well. But again, uh, Dr. Mema really wanted to move on and do something bigger with his, with his time. And so we founded Rapid Novor. And as you can see, we've already grown quite a bit. Um, we're up to about 13 people now. Uh, the company's been around for three years. And we've actually been able to break into pretty much the vast majority of the pharmaceutical industry. Um, quite a few companies actually uh, contract us on a, research, on a contract research basis. So we do work for them that they can't do or that we can do a lot faster and save them a lot of time and money, essentially, um, is the reason that they hire us to do that. And so, uh, oops. And so what is it that we're doing? What is it that's actually like, interesting that people are paying us money to do it? Well, uh, this is it. We hire children. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> So we do, we do antibody protein sequencing. Uh, so what that means to you guys is, is this. Generally, uh, in the human body, there are antibodies that are produced by you that fight off every single disease that you ever get. And um, the interesting thing about them is that they're all built of little uh, Lego building blocks, if you will, called amino acids. Uh, the really interesting part about what we do is that we can actually sequence antibodies directly from the protein itself. So you may have heard of like DNA sequencing. This is very similar to DNA sequencing, except we don't need the DNA, we just need the actual antibody itself. And this is really useful to a lot of researchers today. Um, this is how we're paying the bills. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you have a lab experiment, you're making your antibodies um, and you lose them because the cell line dies or like something mutates or just it's in the freezer for too long and now it's gone and you don't have any more and you spent all this money on this thing that now doesn't actually yield any results. Um, well, the problem is obviously that that's bad. <laughs> and so what we do is you know, bail out people in those situations on a contract basis. So they'll hire us, we do the analysis, we give them a sequence for that antibody, and then they can make as much of it as they want. And so, like I said, this is basically uh, what we're up to today. But this is really the first stage of our company. We're more of a hybrid business model. We're not doing, this isn't all that we're ever going to do, but this is definitely what we're doing right now that pushes us forward in order to um, I guess allow us to move a little more quickly and avoid things like venture capital and giving up equity in our company. Uh, we can actually just do this kind of piecemeal work, funds us, and then we can actually develop what we're really working on. So I guess a little kind of little idea about like what we're up to um, oops, is, you know, a little, little short history here to kind of give you some idea of, like, of the industry is just that, you know, it's, protein sequencing has always been a really cool thing. People have always generally been interested in it, um, really because everything is made of proteins. Everything in your body is made of proteins. And if you can break down those sequences and mass produce them and, and you know, control them and engineer them, you've got something very powerful in your hands um, as far as medicine goes and as far as like, understanding the human body goes. But it's, it's an incredibly difficult problem. And uh, not very many teams have been able to actually sequence them um, in a high throughput manner or in a way that offers a lot of significant value to the pharmaceutical or the, like the healthcare industry in general. Um, and so kind of giving out you know, some hints here as to like how this has been developing. Um, we use mass spectrometry, by the way. Um, this is like our kind of basis of our technology. Um, I highlighted that one right there because, I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, it was the completed the, uh, the first structure of insulin by protein sequencing, which was an extension of uh, some work that was done out of Princess Margaret because that was the place where they actually um, harvested the first uh, pancreatic cells and, and got insulin produced on a mass scale. So anyway, pointing this out, really pointing out here that uh, what we're able to do today is actually innovate the science. And so one thing that we've been able to do that's really interesting is um, there's always been this kind of tongue in cheek uh, situation with mass spectrometry and sequencing that you know there's 20 different amino acids that make up all living things. And we haven't really been able to differentiate two of them. 
because they weigh the exact same amount of like, molecular, like molecules. And uh, one thing that we did that was interesting and innovative was that we came up with a new way to do this. So we are the first company to actually like commercially offer full protein sequencing. And uh, this was an innovation from us. Um, this is something that happened locally. We, we always want to share that experience. That's cool, but I'm sure that a lot of you guys are asking, like, why does any of this matter? Like, this is kind of random. Um, so the real application is this, okay? What we're developing is something called polyclonal antibody sequencing. So when you get an illness, you know, you make antibodies against that illness. And a couple of your antibodies are really, really powerful. And we want to harvest those ones. That'd be the, that's the dream scenario, essentially. Where instead of what you see on the left, this is like a typical drug development like kind of pipeline where you take a mouse, you inject it with like a disease, and then you take the antibodies that are useful from that mouse, you harvest them, you synthesize them, you make a lot of them, and eventually, hopefully, one of those works and you really like it and you want to make a lot of it, you make it into a nice drug. That takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort. 95% of them don't work, and even if they do work past the initial test, 90% of the ones past that point usually fail. So, is there a better way? Is this the best medicine we have? This is essentially the question that we're asking. So the solution for us is really to use the first half, like I said, of our company's model to fund the R&D, which is focused on sequencing people's innate immunity to diseases. So there are people today, like this gentleman on the left, that is immune to HIV. He is a, uh, the, the, the disease is in his body, but it will never go full-blown HIV positive. There are humans like this. There are humans like this for pretty much every disease in the world. You can sit, make the case for Ebola, for Zika when that happened, like there were immune patients, people that are innately immune. The goal of our company is to, like I said, leverage our initial sequencing work, and then with the um, scaling of our company, partner with good scientists, and, uh, and push the technology to a point where we can actually sequence polyclonal antibodies and uh, use them uh, in the clinical setting. So that would be for uh, therapeutic applications, that'd be for like diagnostic applications, that would be for like reagent applications. Essentially the entire suite of the, of the medical industry would have a new way to make new drugs and not only make new drugs, but capitalize on existing immunities. So uh, really quickly kind of running through this guy. Um, this is an example from reagents. Today, if we work on antibodies, the big problem is there are a lot of bad antibodies out there. In fact, if you buy antibodies from a commercial vendor, usually half of them don't actually work the way you expected them to. Uh, this is like you know, a result of uh, a meta-analysis that was conducted over um, 3,000 antibodies that were bought. They tested them, half of them didn't work as they expected. That's bad. What we offer is something to essentially um, increase the accuracy and throughput of that system. Diagnostics, oops, same, same kind of idea here. Uh, we can use the sequencing technology and leverage that against um, you know, existing solutions and uh, capitalize on uh, existing biomarkers and sequence them and then and use them to uh, create better biomarkers for, for more analysis. And then the last application, this is again like the kind of like the, the really interesting part I think of the entire uh, speech is that like therapeutic applications, like I said, Ebola, uh, Zika, HIV, any disease you can think of, essentially we would be able to uh, capture in the innate immunity of individual patients and then leverage that into therapeutics. So that is essentially the idea of our company. That's essentially where we've um, came from. That's where we're going. And, uh, and indeed, like I'm here honestly because I like science. And uh, if anyone of you want to talk about that again, with me or like talk about further, like, talk about further about the company, feel free to reach out. I'm always available. Okay, I need this back. Thank you. You mentioned a few uh, diseases. I was just curious uh, because I have, I have had someone in my family who died of cancer. Where does cancer fit in here? Mm -hmm. So a lot of cancer therapeutics are actually based off of uh, antibodies today. A lot of the most modern ones anyway. Um, to give you like a quick snapshot, eight out of 10 of the top 10 best-selling drugs today are based off of antibodies. And the vast majority of those are actually in cancer as well. So uh, there are some people that are extremely responsive um, in terms of certain cancers. And indeed, uh, there are good antibodies against all kinds of cancers. And indeed, the technology applies in those situations as well. When you have some people that are just really good at fighting cancer, uh, we would love to be able to take advantage of that and share that with the rest of the world. Thank you. 
That's a that's a solid question, but yes, um, it is a it is an, is an alternative. Like there are there are immunotherapies today that um, I mean are used probably in tandem with chemotherapy, I imagine. Um, but indeed, uh, it is a different way to go about attacking the cancer, and it is a an effective way about going about attacking that cancer. Yeah. Thank you. One more question. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's a that's a solid point, and uh, I should also point out that this hasn't been done alone at Rapid Novor. We did partner with uh, the SickKids Hospital in Toronto. Um, they have an excellent core facility there, and we lean on them a lot. Uh, the SickKids Hospital, in case you guys don't know, you, you can go there and hire them for scientific work. Like they're they're there for you. Like they're funded by the by the government. And uh, you know, I've had friends that have asked me about like. I want to develop a diagnostic test for this, this and that disease. I'm like, go to the NRC, go to the Sick Kids Hospital, talk to them, see if you can find someone that'll do some work for you. And yeah, they do it on a contract basis, and they're not looking to make a lot of money there. So <laughs> it's usually a good honest price. Amazing. Thank you so much, Anthony.